risk management is key to trading. Every trader makes losing trades sometimes, but good traders respect and manage their risk. You must be able to manage your risk and cut losses so you can continue to trade. Managing risk also means protecting your capital. It's important to not to let a bad trade drain your account. Therefore, the success of a trader lies on his risk management. If you cannot manage your risk, then you cannot become a successful trader. Let me try to explain the importance of risk management and how to manage the risk so that you can save your capital and also earn money from the market. Uh, let's uh, take an example. Uh, suppose there are two traders, Jack and Michelle. Okay. Jack is a very aggressive trader and who risks say 50% of his capital on every trade and Michelle is a defensive kind of a trader she is not that aggressive like Jack and she risks only 1% of the capital let's uh, take an example and uh, suppose both have an account of $100,000 let's say they have an account of $100,000 okay so, as uh, I told you, Jack risks 50% of his trade every time and Michelle risks only 1% of the trade. And both have a win ratio of 50%. So, if they win once, then they also lose second time. Okay. Their win rate is 50% and their risk to reward ratio is 1 is to 2. That means they risk one dollar to gain two dollars one dollar is risk to gain two dollars this is the reward one is the two so as there is um win rate is 50 percent uh let's take an example of uh 10 days again okay. in 10 days um first three days losses then two days win Two days loss and three days straight win. Okay, three days consecutive losses. That is not some. That is not anything impossible in the market. That usually happens. So, Jack risk fifty percent of his trade. So what will happen? So day one, when day one, when Jack will lose, his fifty percent of the capital is gone. That means on day one when Jack had a bad trade. He lost fifty thousand dollars. Jack is an aggressive trader. On second day, again, Jack had a bad day. He lost the capital because three straight losses and Jack is out of the game because he was risking 50% of the capital whereas on day one Michelle lost the trade so she lost thousand dollars day two again Michelle lost thousand dollars day three again bad trade she lost thousand dollars but day four she had a good day and she earned two thousand dollars because remember they were risking one is a risk to reward ratio was one is to two okay let's uh see again second day also it was a good day and she earned two thousand dollars and see sixth and seventh day those days were bad and she had a bad day and as a result she lost thousand dollars again thousand thousand 
8, 9, 10. Uh, those days were good for her. And she earned $2,000 per day. So after 10 days, what do we see? Her win ratio was 50%. So she lost on five, five, three, uh, sorry, five trades and she won five trades. Okay. So how much did she lose? She lost $5,000. And how much did she earn? She earned ten thousand dollars. So after trading for ten days or after ten trades, though her win ratio was only fifty percent, still she managed to earn five thousand dollars, is not it? She could earn $5,000 because she knew risk management. She knows how to manage the risk. Whereas Jack lost everything because he was an aggressive trader and he had no idea about risk management. So that's why I was focusing on risk management. Hopefully you all have understood why risk management is necessary. Risk management is important to protect your capital and earn money. So uh, let me give you a recap. You should not risk more than 1% of your trading capital. If your trading capital is small also, let's say your trading capital is only 10,000 or 1,000 also, then you should not worry. You should not risk your capital at uh, capital at once. If your let's say your capital is only thousand dollars, then you should only risk one percent of the capital. That means ten dollars, because that will keep you afloat on the market. Because see, you need to learn also. Market will teach you at every step of your life and you need to earn money also to learn and earn and to balance maintain the balance you should not risk more than one percent of the of the capital that's it and remember uh, the tighter your stop loss the larger your position size if the yes if the stop loss is small if the stop loss is small and the position size will be big and if your stop loss is big. Suppose there are times in market when you do not get the trade at the right position and as a result, suppose you're taking the trade here and the stop loss is somewhere around here. And to manage the risk, to manage the risk, you cannot lose, uh, suppose your trading capital is $1,000. You cannot manage, uh, sorry, you cannot afford to lose more than $10 because it's the one person. In that case, you need to calculate the position size. You should calculate the position size not according to your uh, your profit appetite. You should manage or calculate the position size according to the stop loss and risk management. That will only keep you afloat and also give you money together. So that's why risk management is very important and most crucial for a trader to become successful. Thank you so much.